she like has to kick her leg like thumper if you scratch her ear just right. Right, baby? Yes. Now shake! <laughs> and she and almost she falls. Sh- and she shakes so hard she falls on her butt. <laughs> she looks very... Uh, she always looks just very non plush. She's just like... She has resting bitch face. She can't help it. I what? can't help it. With my face. I gotta lick my butt now. Well, you disturbed her fur. Of course she does. Ah. <sighs> so how you been? Okay. Doing okay. Kitty and I have been hanging out today. She's pretty happy because I didn't go to work. <laughs> she likes it when I don't go to work and I'm just at her disposal all day. Whom and why you go is is not allowed. These She's things pretty sure are... that I just moved in to be like her personal nanny and handmaiden. So oh, you like, got me my very own human. Thank you. Yeah, like she thinks Dan got me for her. She's like, this is great. You got me. You got me a maid. <laughs> so, you know, when I actually go out to work, she gets very upset. And now she's licking her butthole. Now she's licking her butt because last week we farted on the internet. <laughs> That is the epitome, you know, it's kind of the cat getting older. They don't give a fuck anymore. This is a cat with no fucks to give. <laughs> None. Like, we, Dan literally, like, hung a string on her back the, the other night. And most cats would go nuts. Like, get it off, get it off. She was just like, whatever. Just kept walking along like, it'll fucking fall off eventually. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. She has no fucks to give. Uh... No, no, I don't. I give no fucks. I'm old. Well, it is time for the nonsense. And wow, we've got some interest. We have video to start off with, which oh, is boy. great. I want to warn you, this one's got autoplay, so you may be, oh, be aware of that. Sorry. I hate autoplay. Autoplay is like the bane of what we do. Anyway, each week, Catherine and the Radio Dead Air audience go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for the segment we like to call... What the fuck is wrong with you? And, you know, we used to have this theory a while back that people were actually starting to do this shit to get on our show. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I'm, I think maybe this dude. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I think. Let, let, let me show you all the video because this dude, th- this, this dude, th- th- this dude, this, this. Uh, where is my video? No, 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 no. Time is clicking by. Here it is. And of course, it's from Walmart. We got video! Walmart is like... It's like they build them on places of power. Crazy power. Naked man runs through Walmart, pours milk on himself. Let me find the actual story here. Didn't that happen at an episode of Breaking Bad? Well, no, he didn't run through Walmart. He just sort of strolled through Walmart. This guy, I, I, if you didn't catch what he was saying there, he actually screamed, I'm on fire, as he did this. This is from Pike County, uh, Kentucky. Here you go. I, I, I get a better lake. I think that was just video here. It's from Pike County, Kentucky. Ah, oh, come on. We're just having all sorts of wonderful technical poobahs tonight. Live, everybody. Live, everybody. Hey, do something cute. No, I don't want to. Don't want to. Naked man runs through Walmart, pours milk on self. Pike County, Kentucky, a shocking night at Walmart. Really? This is a shocking night at Walmart. Have you I feel like if you work at Walmart, it just gets to be like, hi, Dwight. (laughs) Oh, you're back. (laughs) It's just fucking Tuesday. Um, People looking for groceries in South Williamson, Kentucky, got quite the eyeful. Video posted on YouTube shows a man running naked, pouring milk on himself and screaming he's on fire while running through the store. Video is removed from YouTube because it shows nudity. But Tanner Hesterberg has a copy of the video and now uh, that now has two men facing charges. 
Uh, video posted to YouTube Wednesday shows a man pouring milk on himself and running through Walmart wearing nothing but shoes, socks, and a Halloween mask. What Halloween mask does it say? It doesn't say. I I, I can't really. That's it's important. It looks like a skull face, and he's got dreadlocks going on. And you know. Oh man, those dreadlocks are gonna smell. Oh yeah, it, it's because <sighs> that milk is gonna seep in and then go bad. Warrants are out for the streaker and videographer. So this was not crazy. This was just plain stupid. This was, hey, I'm going to do something on the YouTube and get do all we, the... Do we think that? Do we think he was in full possession of his faculties? Yeah, because this was planned. He had Maybe. a guy there taking video for him, and then they put it. They had a getaway car. He ran out, got inside, drove away. That's a really weird prank. Yeah, because I. Yeah. Everyone in the store is. There are other two reactions in the store. You got like the people who are just shopping, and they're like, and the other people who are just like, whatever. Like why can't you just do a flash mob of the thriller dance or something? Nope. Got to get your like, dick why out. Can't you make a viral video and get on the internet in a way that brings people joy. Nope. Got to get your dick out. Also make a big ass mess for the poor Walmart employees to have to clean up. Yeah. And as someone who works in the service industry, fuck yourself. Yeah. Cause there, there is nothing quite so fun as having to mop in a store. Mop up a bunch of milk. Especially when other people, and god damn. And the other shoppers don't care. No. You're an inconvenience to them. Yes. You're in their way. Yes. They are assholes about that shit because it's oh, like. Oh yeah, they don't care. You didn't dump the milk all over your damn self while you was naked and run around screaming, I'm on fire. No, you just have to clean up with it for minimum fucking wage in the Walmart. And have people give you a fucking attitude about it. Why? This dick. Dick, dick, asshole, motherfucker, dick. Dick, 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 dick. Because <laughs> fuck, all of the fuck this guy. That, that, that's all, all of the fuck this guy. This and is... So the, why? Yeah, this, this was his best idea. This was his absolute... This, this was like... This will be great for YouTube. They'll fucking love it. I, has YouTube really gotten that? Like, have we really seen everything? Oh, really? <laughs> was that what I think it was? No, that was a big old snort. Okay, good, because I'm like, wow. Okay. <laughs> she's mad because she's not in my lap. Like, in fact, she's gonna. No, you have to stay up there right now. No, no. Ah, oh, damn it. Stupid no, humans. Can't. See, now we locked over the lamp. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'll get what I want. <laughs> she doesn't understand why this is not the way she wants it. No, she's not good at that sort of thing. She's, <sighs> not, really, she's not really good at no. She's good at do what I want, human. That's your job. Speaking of do what I want, we have a wonderful... Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it says something about a comfortable... When you can, uh, it says something about a, a couple and how comfortable you are. When you just sit around naked and eating pizza and just hanging out and just, you know... It's one of those things you can do. Like a Saturday night, what the fuck ever. And that's yeah. great and that's cool. And, that, you know, if your relationship works that way and you're, and you're comfortable enough with it, awesome. Unfortunately, you probably shouldn't do it while driving. Ohio woman accused of driving naked while eating pizza arrested for DUI. Westlake, Ohio. Two people caught joyriding through Ohio in the buff were arrested by police over the weekend. Authorities say an employee of a business called police after seeing the naked pair standing outside a car in the business parking lot around midnight Saturday. Police said the car, see, the car was seen driving up on a curb and through a tree lawn before being pulled over by an officer. What's uh, a tree lawn? I don't know. 
Is that a lawn made out of trees? Because that's not a lawn. That's a forest. Right. That's forest. <laughs> Alex it's a tree lawn. <laughs> Alexandria Maurer, 24, was eating a slice of pizza while driving naked. Her passenger, 33-year-old Kenneth Gillespie, was also naked, holding a beer can between his feet. Maurer was arrested for DUI and released to family later. Uh, Gillespie, who was on probation for drug possession, urinated in the back of the police cruiser after arrest. He was charged with sorely conduct. You gotta go. <laughs> Don't go in the police car. That's, that's not where you, uh, how did this night start is my first question. Yeah. How did this begin as, you know, where, where did we start? And then you end up, you're naked in a parking lot eating pizza on the car. I always wonder, Ooh, I'm sorry, baby. I just elbowed kitty in the face. I'm sorry. I always wonder how do they get to this point? Like, how do you start to wind up naked and doing weird things while naked? Like, I've been fucking drunk in yeah. my time. I have never been get naked and run around in public drunk. Eat, well, this doesn't even run around. This is just like eating pizza in a parking lot in the middle of the night. Like what? And driving around naked. Like, where do your clothes go? Did you not leave the house with them? Was it one of those, you got real drunk, you forgot to get get dressed, and you got, got out there, you're like, oh, well. So apparently tree lawns are the grass between the curb and the sidewalk. I would call that's, that a lawn. That's a weird name, but okay. Yeah. I mean, it, it, did you, it, let, let's have, that. that's, uh, that's her. Let's have a look at, at her. Okay, okay, wow. He's interesting looking. Okay. That's someone you don't want to bring home to mom. Yeah. Just it, did you just get out? You get out there. You forgot your clothes. You're just like, well, fuck it. I don't want to go home at this point. Let's get some pizza. Let's get some because fuck it. Nothing says class like facial tattoos, by the way. <sighs> it, I mean, if you can if you can find a man with a facial tattoo, you snap him up because. He's guaranteed to be going somewhere in life. Uh, oh, Jed the Jedi. Hey, officer, want to see my little Caesar? No. No. I look forward to angry comments from people with facial tattoos. Yeah, we're going to get them. We always do. Because uh, we have more naked driving escapades. Two in one week. Two in one week. And this one's even better. Even better. Is this... Just like... I don't keep my car terribly clean. Here's a thing to know about me. My car always has like some crumbs and some takeout bags. And I pretty much clean it out when it starts to smell like rotting McDonald's. And my car is not particularly hygienic. I don't think I would sit naked in my own car seat. Like there might be a French fry from three weeks ago. I don't want to put my butt there. And I, I don't want that getting lost inside of me somehow. <laughs> it's just, that's, that's not a choice I would make. <laughs> oh. If you keep your car cleaner than I do, it's cool. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Oh, God. Oh. Well, let's up the ante a little bit on the whole driving around drunk and naked. Um, because why... I'm upset about that. <laughs> Why inconvenience a few people with your nakedness and drunkenness when you can in, when you can inconvenience thousands? 4,400 lose power as naked woman crashes car 
in DePaul, Shoreline, Washington. A 24-year-old woman driving around the Shoreline area naked crashed her car into a utility pole overnight, knocking out power to more than 4,400 customers. Police sergeant patrolling the area heard the crash, found her car crashed to a pole and a woman inside who was completely naked. Medics responded, and the woman was treated with non-life-threatening injuries. The car knocked out power to 4,443 customers of Seattle City Light. Crews were called to the scene to repair the damage and restore electrical service. Blood sample was taken to determine whether drugs or alcohol played a role in the crash. I'm going to say it's a safe bet. Yes. Did we miss a holiday I don't know about? <laughs> what, the naked driving holiday? Yeah. Well, there, there's like take the subway with no pants day. That's a thing. Yeah, that's a thing. Like... Take, I don't know why that's a thing, but it's a thing. Like, ride the subway with no pants. And I'm here to tell you, the New York City subway is not somewhere you want to sit with no pants. For similar reasons to my car, but much worse. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a thing. Like, ride the train with no pants day. I, I don't know why, but it's a thing. Hipsters, I guess. Do you remember so, Talk Like a Pirate Day? Remember I, that? hate talk like a pirate day yeah but at least no one had their Every penis here i'm just like well can't be on facebook today everybody i know is being annoying as fuck yeah but at least nobody had their dick out yeah you know i mean that, that point in its favor con everyone's being annoying pro no one has their dick out I, so maybe we missed like national naked driving day <laughs> Apparently, it's National Maybe that's Naked. Maybe we don't know about. Oh, uh, well, I've got some, we have some more entertainment from from internet plus advertising equals calamity. Um, do you remember? Do you know what a QR code is? Yes. Okay. These things are fucking everywhere, and you know what? I have never in my life seen someone actually fucking use them. I have. I used to go to a diner by myself a lot when I lived at my sister and uh, because I was eating lunch by myself, I would scan. And I think I'm segueing inadvertently into what we're doing, but the ketchup bottle had a QR code to a trivia game and I would sit there and play like Trivial Pursuit at the diner while I ate. I admit when they first came out, I thought they were Sephora neat. tried it for a while. You could scan for product info. Nobody did that because there were employees to ask. That was kind of dumb. Yeah, I know. Well, when they first came out, I thought, oh, it's neat. I can take my smartphone. I can scan something. This is not very useful. Yeah. It opened a web page. So I, the fact these are, these have always been kind of clunky, but to add to the clunky, let's add porn. Heinz says sorry for ketchup QR code that links to porn site. And they were the ones. I used, they have a link to a little trivia game that I used to play at the diner while I <laughs> ate my cheeseburger. Except now, boobs. Ketchup buyer mistakenly exposed to porn after Heinz allows a competition domain to lapse, allowing adult entertainment firm to buy it. Heinz apologized to a German customer for QR code on one of its tomato ketchup bottles linked to a porn site. After using a smartphone to scan the code, which was meant to provide information about a promotional campaign that offered personalized ketchup bottle labels. Okay. Daniel Carell was sent to a German adult site rather than a Hyde's Rudd page. And we're talking, okay, there's an adult website and then there's German adult website. And you gotta ask yourself, what kind of porn website was that? That it would have the same name as a ketchup well, Come here's on. here's what happened. If you don't renew your uh, a, a web domain, after right? Someone month, else can buy the name. But that's what I'm saying is, what was that name? It was that Heinz Ketchup and German Porn would share SagSmithHeinz.de. Oh. So uh, what happened was... Is there a ketchup fetish of which I'm unaware? No, what they did was they deliberately bought the website just for this purpose. Oh. They saw that Heinz's site had lapsed and were like, yoik! And now it redirects to German porn. And ladies and gentlemen, if you've been on the internet for any length of time, you understand there ain't no porn like German porn. No, oh, that's a, that's a mm. whole other level. That is, that is porn... 
with the difficulty level raised up I mean, a little bit. It would be bit. fun if they made that site all about like chicks getting penetrated with ketchup bottles or something, just just to keep the theme. You know? That's Holy I mean, shit, Tara, really? If you're gonna troll <laughs> halfway is all i'm saying holy shit really go hard or go home jesus christ that's all i'm saying jesus this is what okay this is one of those things that advertisers they don't take into consideration when they do these social media type things when you buy... I remind everyone that 10 minutes ago I made a joke about accidentally getting a french fry stuck up my vagina too. So we're doing a whole fast food <laughs> here, I guess, today. <laughs> oh, this, this is one of those things that companies just do not take into Are you consideration. Are a little sniffly? Yeah. I mean, when they don't, they don't grasp the intricacies of the internet they're just like we'll just do this thing and it'll be fine and they yeah. don't think ahead to how the internet actually works it just it's and it's, that it's just not in your control no you have to you if you're gonna do this shit you gotta follow through otherwise all of a sudden your happy nice family product is german scheisse porn the next thing you turn the fuck around and people are putting ketchup bottles in their hoo-ha. Do you remember when uh, Burger King did the subservient chicken? No. No? I think the website might still be up. I don't know. But it used to be their whole thing was you can have our chicken sandwich any way you want. So it was like you can have our chicken any way you want. So they had this website, subservientchicken.com. I'm not kidding you. And if you went there, it was a human person in a chicken costume and stockings and garters. No. And you could type in commands and it would do things. But if you tried to type in anything like pornographic, because of course I tried, the chicken would do this and like shake its finger at you. But like you could make the chicken do a barrel roll or dance or whatever. And uh, I'm, oh, DJ Shire says it still exists. Subservientchicken.com. It's a chicken. In fucking garters and stockings. Oh, God damn it. We're doing this, aren't we? We'll follow your command. We're doing this, aren't we? And this was their marketing campaign, and they ran the ads on TV. Like, our chicken your way. Uh, oh, server not found. All right. Well, let's subservient chicken. All right. We're, 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 we're actually, we're fucking doing this. Here we go. But you can't tell us to do anything dirty. I tried. How, how how the hell do we make this? There should be a little command bar. Oh, it's not up anymore. There should be a little command bar. Okay. All right. Well, the, the we can't we can't make the chicken do. Boo. Uh... Oh wait, Mike found it. What? Yep, there it is. Well, I open. I don't see the command bar. No, it's different now. Ooh. Well, I guess that's for the best, probably. Well, it's chicken redemption, whatever that is. Maybe they put some Serbian chicken in rehab. I don't know. So one of the, the more notoriously dark sectors of the Internet and dark in terms of just kind of really Etsy. Etsy is wonderful for lots of people. You can make things, you can sell it online, home crafting. It's really cool. Except some of these home craftings have always been kind of a little... Or you can buy a sparkly dildo that's supposed to be yeah. a from Twilight. That you're recommended to put in the fridge so it's cold. <sighs> or there were other things being sold on Etsy that I was not aware of until this week when Etsy Stop said... Stop your butt on the air, please. Those things could no longer be sold. What, pray tell? Magic! Etsy doesn't want you selling spells. What? 
Etsy's online shop is mostly known for its handmade crafts, but it's also developed a reputation among the supernatural crowd as an easy place to find spells, potions, and other mysterious goods. Why did I not know about this? I could have fixed my whole life. While those merchants will have to find another place to hawk their wares, Etsy has quietly updated its guidelines to ban all, quote, metaphysical services that promise a tangible outcome, like revenge or weight loss. The company isn't wasting much time cleaning house either as it's kicking out many of those vendors with little to no warning. Won't shock you to hear these vendors are quite upset with some of them going so far as to accuse Etsy of religious discrimination. Okay, here's the thing. Etsy is a business of selling goods. It's a marketplace that allows the facilitation of taking a good from one place to another. You can get refunds for these goods if they are defected. How the fuck do you get a refund on a curse? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's kind of similar. <clears throat> it would be the same idea as, like, pay me to pray for something for you. Yeah, really. I mean... Like, they wouldn't let you sell that on Etsy. No, well, they they were, but not anymore. I mean, it's it's it's, you know, you're claiming, I have these powers and I'll sell them to you. And Etsy will facilitate it. Etsy, I can understand them saying, uh-uh, we don't want to be this. We Take us out in the middle of this shit. We do not want to be responsible. Because you know somebody's going to go, look, I gave you money to curse my mother to fall down the fucking stairs. She ain't fall down the fucking stairs. I want my money back. How Have do you ever seen the movie Practical Magic? Yeah. It's a movie I like. I know. It's a cheesy rom-com and all but the scene where the guy like storms into sandra bullock's shop complaining that the serum she sent him wasn't working and it's because he was supposed to rub it on his dick and not his head i i i, I i'm not sure if there were any dick potions maybe there were dick potions how do you maybe. and how do you prove the effectiveness of your magic dick potion before and after pictures? I mean, according to the internet, they're all kind of proven effective dick potions. Why are we getting the butt now? <laughs> this is what she does when she's mad. You get the butt. The entire internet is getting the butt. Hey. You know, don't grunt at me. Turn around. Come here. You're being rude. <laughs> She's like, well, let me sit in your lap then. All right, you win. I, I can honestly, but how, I mean, these people, religious discrimination? No, this is more like less that um, this shit won't hold up in court. We're covering our asses. Can you yeah. demonstrably prove your powers? No. Then please fuck off someplace else so we don't get our asses sued. Yeah, I mean, you could sell a little bottle of vinegar on Etsy and claim it'll cure cancer by those rules. Yeah. Because it's magic. Yes. And that, that don't, you, lost. Oh, they found a working version of subservient chicken. Oh, no. What? Where? Eh, hang on. Apparently somebody, like, copied all the code or something. What? Oh, I did that wrong. Hang on. Please hold. There we go. Oh, good. We get to share this this nonsense with with the what what is this? <clears throat> Subservient chicken contacting chicken. What the fuck is this? Mm-hmm. Legit Burger King marketing Burger King marketing campaign. What the fuck is this? Type in a command. I don't wanna. I'm scared. Type in a command. Jump, chicken. <laughs> oh, kitty. The, the chicken jumped. Run, chicken. <laughs> And there goes the rest of the show. <laughs> what the? F this is some demented shit. 
He just sort of I did he give me the finger? Oh wait, no. What is he what is he doing? <laughs> ah! Motherfucker! Apparently you should tell it to river dance. I should I should tell the okay. All right. I got I, I, we're, what is happening? This is some freaky fetish shit. Okay, there's this is a Burger King marketing campaign. Well, let's move on to something even more disturbing. Go back to your tower right now. While the while the chicken dances, let's let's move on to something else. So we have yet another in the in the category of why the fuck does this keep happening? Why are you keep doing this? You know, it's bad for you. This one's actually a little bit semi-famous this time. And I, I was a little... I... 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 Did... I... Oh, my God. Let, let, let's just get dive straight into... Okay, maybe that's probably the bad way of phrasing it. Writer Cormac McCarthy's ex-wife arrested after pulling pistol from vagina and threatening boyfriend. Wow. The ex-wife of celebrated Arthur Cormac McCarthy was arrested after threatening her boyfriend with a gun she pulled out of her vagina after an argument about extraterrestrial life. I think I remember that chapter from the road. Jennifer McCarthy, no relation, was alleged to have performed a sex act with the Silver Smith and Wesson before pointing it at her boyfriend's head. She was arrested on the Saturday morning following the incident. According to police reports, Miss McCarthy's boyfriend, who has not been named, said the couple had been arguing about, quote, space aliens when she ran out of the house, but before she returned, but then returned, went to her bedroom, changed into her lingerie, before performing a sex act with the gun. She is then said to have said, quote, who is crazy, you or me, before taking the gun and pointing it at his head? You. You you are. You are the crazy. You win. Good job. Get a tetanus shot. You got yourself off with a loaded gun. I am confident that that is a legit fetish. I'm not, I don't know for sure, but I, there's got, I mean, fuck, we've got the NRA. I'm pretty sure Wayne Lop here jacks it to something like that. I that doesn't make it a good idea. But it, I, also, I want to, I, I, th this is the sad thing. This is his ex-wife, but the article begins with a prominent picture of Author Cormac McCarthy. Which is weird. It has nothing to do with him. No, it doesn't. His ex-wife is putting guns in her bajingo and pointing them at people, but his ass is the one who gets a picture on it. He's like... And this is the problem with modern society. A woman does something and her husband gets all the credit. Sexism. Why? Okay. If you were in an argument about aliens, how does this... How does an argument about aliens get to that point? I know, right? This is like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to settle this once and for all. I'm going to pleasure myself with a firearm and then point it at you. Argument settled. Y yeah. This is like sex plus the Chewbacca defense. Like, maybe if maybe if it was at least something <sighs> alien related, like. But it's if it was like a replica gun from the X Files. I, 
Daver in the channel says, Cormac McCarthy really dodged a bullet. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, I just, and I mean, I know there's a psychological connection between, you know, sex and violence, but I don't think if I was going to attempt to murder somebody, I would at first masturbate with the murder weapon. Yeah, because that... first of all, that gives them a chance to run. <laughs> like you're just giving them time to get away. It's not efficient. Masturbate with your murder implement after you murder the person and have cleaned it properly. <sighs> and, uh, That's one to grow on. Which one of us is crazy? You or me? You! You? You is a crazy person! You are crazy. You ain't. You, you, congrats. You, you yeah. are. Oh, my fuck's sake. Kitty's so grumpy at me now because I took her out of my lap. I, what, and stop putting guns in, it just, stop it. Stop putting guns inside of your person for any reason. I just, it, this, and I love the last line of the story. Corick Murphy wrote the screenplay for The Counselor, a star set of film directed by Ridley Scott that was released late last year. Word count. <laughs> this story needs 50 more words. Okay. I guess the, the first thing we learned this week is sometimes, you know what, nine times out of ten, if someone asks the question, which one of us is really crazy, it's the person asking that question. Which one of us is truly insane? You are, you masturbating crazy lady! Don't put a thing in your holes that is designed for the purpose of putting more holes in you. I think that's a good rule of thumb. We've learned that apparently, maybe naked, maybe there's a naked crazy driving thing. Maybe there's a naked driving day that we don't know about. We learned if you're going to go out for pizza with your significant other, pants first. Yeah. I mean, it's cool that you and your significant other are comfortable at that level of your relationship. I mean, relationship. if you want to do the naked pizza thing, most of, the pl most of them deliver. Yeah. So just do naked pizza at home. Roll yeah. the fuck around in it if you want. They'll, they'll, they'll bring it to you. It's easy. I mean, put pants on when you answer the door. Yeah. Because that, that's, not, that's not what they mean by leaving a tip. That's... That's BigSausagePizza.com No. We've learned that companies who decide to use social media for marketing should probably understand how internet work yeah. first. Otherwise, porn. German ketchup porn. <laughs> and finally, we've learned this week there are many ways to get famous on the internet. But there's famous and there's famous. Yeah. Don't be an asshole trying to get famous on the internet. Just have a cute cat. That works really well. Oh, you're so mad. You're so mad at me right now. She, Let me sit in your lap. Now you woke me up. She farts again. I'm going to laugh my ass off. <laughs>